Okay, so here's our uh, fusion uh, fuser, and uh, I'm just going to do some testing with our uh, new bubble detectors, and I just wanted to do a null test first to um, just show that, uh, determine if there's any neutrons coming off if we don't put deuterium or tritium into, uh, into our fusion, fusion device. And so let's uh, let's begin the test. So anyway, here's our fuser device. Should be very interesting. Okay, here's our vacuum chamber, and I'm just pulsing it right now. I'm pulsing it with the AC power because I don't want to overheat components. So I give them a little bit of break. I'm not running at full power or full duty. And um, let's take a look in here. Notice one thing, this is kind of annoying. I'm getting plasma back streaming to the pump. I might try to put something in there sometime to kill that plasma. See if I can stop the back streaming. So that's not exactly what I want. Here, let's look inside the front window. Okay, I've been letting this run for a while, and it looks like the star mode has become more pronounced. Oh. Maybe because the vacuum is getting lower. Okay, so we'll let that run for a little bit longer. Let's see if we uh, get any readings on our neutron bubble counter. Looks like there might be a bubble already, I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like there's some bubbles starting to form, even though we're still on the first day. In fact, I'm probably not going to run it for the full time. And I just wanted to point out that there is a little uh, liquid crystal temperature gauge here. And you're supposed to keep it in with the, within the thermal range. But the thing's not really getting hot. Okay. This green is an acceptable color. And so you can't attribute that to temperature. So it looks like we're possibly getting some neutrons. I'm going to take a look at it more when I uh, finish this testing. Oh, my pump's starting to make a little bit of noise. I hope it's not going to blow. Yeah. Okay, so we finished running this, or I finished running this. Oh. For uh, about 11 hours. And uh, I thought there might have been some bubbles in there, but closer scrutiny looks like maybe there's not which I guess there shouldn't be bubbles right because um, after all we didn't have any deuterium or tritium in there so I guess this is a good null test um, let's see which detector is this, this is a 21 detector and um, yep I don't see any bubbles in there so We'll have to uh, try running with the uh, deuterium in there next time and see how that works out. Yeah, definitely no bubbles. So no neutrons with uh, no deuterium in there. Okay, so let's uh, recompress this thing because they, I guess, um, 
have a lifetime and they don't like to be left open for too long left uh, uncompressed for too long so we'll compress the cylinder Okay, and there we go and we'll store it back in our our torpedo thing here because this keeps the pressure on the device and we'll set up for our new experiment using uh, some heavy water. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes and thanks for watching.